All right, so if you follow us on social media, you probably know that we just picked up our brand new 2023 Airstream 20FB. So that's the 20 front bed model. And we spent all weekend doing projects because of course we did. And we did a lot of things that are just gonna make the Airstream work a little better for us. And a couple of things that we kind of thought maybe it should have come from the factory that way. Um, we're gonna split those up into two videos. This one is gonna be about six really simple, really quick projects that anybody can do. Um, they're gonna be extremely applicable to our model of the Airstream, but hopefully it'll give you ideas of maybe some things you could do in your uh, travel trailer or your RV that uh, will just make it work better for you. So without any further ado, six really quick projects that anybody can do in their RV. So we got a new hinge for the bottom cabinet. So I'm going to take the old hardware off and we got the piece of metal to go on the side of the cabinet. So I'll probably grab some epoxy and put that on where I want it. And we also got some new bathroom hardware. So we got a new towel holder and we got a new uh, toilet paper holder. I also got a um, paper towel holder that I'll install and yeah, I think that's about it for my projects for today, other than I've got to sew those extra two cushions. But yeah, we'll get started and I'll show you a little bit as I go along. Sorry if it's hard to hear, this is the furnace and the furnace is on. But this is where I'm about to take out some of the hardware and then we'll measure the new um, piano hinge we got and make sure it fits. Honestly, this is a hundred times more usable as a cubby than it ever was with those hinges. You see how tall that is? That was taking up half the cabinet. I don't, <laughs> this baffles me. This is what I got instead. So, um, can't really see it, but this is the same way that the dinette doors are attached. Let me show you. So the same way that the dinette doors are attached, where they just piano hinge down, you can see the hinge here, and then it's mostly hidden with the door closed. So that's what I want to do here for this little cubby and this little door. And it's got the latch at the top, so it should work just fine. So I've attached to one side. So what I did was I got a teeny tiny drill bit, marked it with some tape so I wouldn't drill all the way through. And I drilled into this very hard plywood cabinet. And I've attached as many as I can. There's one that kind of overlaps the old cabinet hardware, so I think we're good. So now I just need to wash, rinse, repeat with the cabinet. Which I think is gonna be the harder part because I gotta make sure it's lined up right. The way this piano hinge um, and the cabinet worked, I wasn't able to do the hinge like a hidden hinge, but I was able to do it um, really on the bottom, which is very close to the floor and you really can't see it unless you get down there and look for it. So then I just repeated the same thing I had done with the cabinet door. I used a little drill bit and I drilled the holes um, and then put the screws in. as intended. Just make sure these are tight. Man, what a usable cabinet that is now. Quick and easy. gonna put this piece of um, actually I think it's steel anyway it's magnetic uh, we got this for about 10 bucks at Lowe's and I'm gonna put it on this wall right here to put my spices on but these always come super greasy and gross so I just gotta clean it up first
Josh gave me some open epoxy we already had in the garage. I think this is where I'm going to put it. And it'll be covered in spices, so you'll hardly see the metal. You might be one wondering what kind of epoxy I used, and I honestly have no idea. It was just something we had in the garage, but um, you know, just go to Lowe's and read the labels, and I'm sure you can find something that works uh, to adhere metal to wood. That's really all you're looking for. Do not laugh at my epoxy skills. <laughs> my non-existent epoxy skills. The other thing here is just to make sure you um, put enough epoxy on it that it kind of is gonna get good coverage and then also just mash the heck out of it. So you see I use the cutting board to kind of apply like wider pressure than just my hands and just make sure you mash until it feels really flat. Um, my piece of metal was pretty thin so it was pretty malleable so I, I just mashed really really well to make sure it was flat and that the epoxy was totally um, adhering. done and I had talked about um, Josh and I had talked about maybe doing this just to the size we needed for the spices but then we decided to go a little bigger so that we have room for like maybe some magnets or some other magnetic things um, speaking of we usually keep is this the magnetic guy yeah so we've got our little meat thermometer there we use we like to have that handy so yeah looking good Something very quick. It'll take no time, except for that I have to go get the drill from Josh, maybe. Is a paper towel rack. You can get these really cheap on Amazon. I wanted it today, so I got it from Lowe's. But this is going on this end of this cabinet here. Okay, here we go. It's a muscle. This cabinet is made out of kryptonite, but <laughs> I cannot, I cannot drill this hole. <laughs> oh. There you go. Thank you. I don't know why I couldn't. Yeah, you're just. Maybe it was a weird that's angle. That's a weird leverage yeah. place. You have to kind of like squeeze your arms together. Yeah. Thank you. I'm sure that this thing will bump down the road and we'll come out to paper towels rolled all the way out, but there's the finished product. What I'm going to do is relocate this. Um, if it comes off easy, I'm going to relocate it up here. And this is the perfect place for Josh to hang his um, travel bag that he uses, his toiletry bag. So that is going to get relocated up to much higher on the wall to give him plenty of space to hang his bag. And then I'm going to take, so let me show you how odd this is. So I'm sitting on the toilet and the toilet paper, I have to move my leg and the toilet paper is here. And it's just really awkward. I don't like it. So since that one's not very pretty, I got a pretty one and I'm actually gonna put it here. I know it might be a little weird to have your toilet paper kind of on display on the cabinet, but it's the most logical place we can come up with. Otherwise, it was going to have to be on the outside of this cabinet or it was going to be on the, the door. Um, so I think this is, I think it'll make sense. It'll be useful for us. And then this wall here, so there's the mirror. This wall here is where I'm going to put the towel holder. And that's it for now. Right. Back with tools. This is the screw they gave me for a toilet paper roll. That, no, no. Also, no.
can reuse the screws from this guy. It's definitely not using those old ones. Well, the camera died. You didn't miss much, but here we go. Got the towel bar. Moved the hook up high where it's more useful for us. And this is now the toilet paper roll. We'll see how we like it. We can always move it later. We had a pizza break for dinner and I just finished one other super quick project that I needed a little help from Josh. So we fixed the door to the wardrobe, which turned, it opened the other way, but we're gonna probably use this more of a pantry or kind of a catch-all instead of just for clothes. So it didn't really make sense to have to stand like at the bed to open it. But yeah, we just flipped the door around Move the hardware, easy peasy. And then I am going to put, I got some of those little Ikea square mirrors and I'm gonna put some of those mirrors here so that you have kind of a floor length mirror there. So here's what it looks like with the mirror installed. Last project for today, we put up this little pegboard from Ikea. So those are little adjustable, removable shelves and some little cups. And you can buy other things, but we're gonna start simple. See how we like it. But that's right there by the charging plugs that are on the bed. So it's right by your USB ports. Now it gives you a place to actually put your phone and watch while they charge. I hope that gave you some ideas of some really quick, easy things you can do in your own RV um, without a whole lot of tools. And in our next video, we're going to get into the power tools because Josh had a couple of big projects um, that he worked on that really changed the game for us in our new Airstream, but are not exactly uh, simple or quick. So stay tuned for that.